Hello everyone, today we're going to be doing solving three variable systems. Uh, so we've been working on two variable systems with x's and y's and using substitution elimination and graphing to solve those. Today we're going to work on three variables. So instead of just x and y, we're going to throw in z as well. With doing this, we're going to teach you how to do it just with elimination. Um, we can't really do this graphically because we can't graph in 3D um, by hand. Um, and substitution is a little bit complicated with this. It can kind of get a little hectic. So elimination is the easiest route. Now these problems do take a while. Um, so they are lengthier problems. Uh, so bear with me while we get through these. Um, and organization is going to be crucial here, so make sure we organize. So you look at this first example here. We have our three equations set up with our three variables. You'll notice, too, that the variables are all in the same location in the equation. So it goes x, your y, your z, your equal sign, and then your uh, constant term there. Um, you always make, want to make sure there's something that that's what we did for elimination as well. How I organize mine, I start by labeling the equations. So this is equation 1, equation 2 in equation three. So what we're gonna do here is, the first step is you're gonna pick two equations and you're gonna eliminate a variable. Um, you can pick any variable you want. Try to pick one that would be easy to manipulate and multiply to make them match up. Um, so we're looking at this, if I look at my x's, I've got four x, two x, and six x. I think I can easily make those numbers match up. Um, they're all even numbers and const uh, with factors of two. So I think that'd be an easy thing for me to do. Um, if you look at your y's, those aren't too bad either. You have two y, three y, and a y. Those wouldn't be terrible to eliminate as well because you can get the y's to match up somehow. Um, Z's, I would probably avoid eliminating because you've got 3Z, 5Z, and 4Z. It'd be very hard to find kind of like terms there. So let's focus on the X's. Um, so what I'm going to do here is, is I'm going to choose equation 1 and equation 2. Okay, and I'm going to eliminate the X. All right, so if I'm eliminating the X's in equation uh, 1 and equation 2 here, all right, I want the x's to be the same number, but opposite sides. So I'm thinking I'm gonna have to take that second equation and I'm gonna have to multiply it by negative two. All right, but my first equation can remain the same. So I'm gonna write my first equation out, four x plus two y plus three z equals one. I'll multiply the whole second equation by negative two. So I get negative four x plus six y minus 10 z equals 28. And from here, we're going to do elimination, which is when we add the two equations together. So my four x's are gone now. 2y plus 6y gives me 8y. 3z minus 10z would give me negative 7z. And 1 and 28 gives me 29. And I'm going to label this as equation 4. This is a brand new equation for us. All right, so we're going to repeat this process. So step two all right, is going to be two different equations and eliminate the exact same variable. So we already chose one and two. We have to take it, pick a different combination of two equations, but we're still going to be eliminating the x's. When I'm looking at this, I would probably stick with equation two here, and I'd probably choose equation three because I think I can make that 2x look like 6x pretty easily. So I'm going to say equation two and equation three. Which of those will I have to manipulate or change? equation two. I'm going to make that match up with 6x, just be the opposite sign, so I'm going to multiply that by negative three. All right, so we multiply that whole equation by negative three. I get negative 6x plus 9y minus 15z equals 42. Equation three will remain the same. All right, we're going to combine them. My x's are now gone. Eight or nine y minus y is eight y. Negative fifteen z plus four z. All right, is negative eleven z. And forty two. Oops, minus one is forty one. And this will be equation five. All right. So those are your first two steps there. Solve two equations, eliminate the same variable. Once we have that, we have these new equations. And the great thing about these two equations is they have the same variables y and z. So we can do elimination again with both of those. So I'm going to pull both of those equations down here. So equation four, all right, is 8y minus 7z, which equals 29. And equation five is 8y minus 11z equals 41. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go and repeat um, 
the elimination process again. It does not matter which of these variables we cancel out. I was looking here, I think the y's are gonna probably be pretty easy to cancel out here. I'm gonna multiply that first equation, so that equation four, by negative one. So I've got negative eight y plus seven z equals negative 29. Equation 5 can remain the same, so that'd be 8y minus 11z equals 41. Okay, my i's, my y's cancel out. 7z minus 11z, right, is negative 4z. Negative 29 and 41 give me 12. Divide by negative 4, and I get z is negative 3. All right, so we solve for our first variable. Now step four is gonna be solved for all the other variables. So what I would solve for next is going to be y, because you already have equations up here where you have z and y together. So I'm just gonna choose that first one there. So I'm gonna say eight y minus seven z equals 29. Eight y, negative seven and negative three gives me positive 21 equals 29. Subtract that 21 over and I get eight. So I get y equals one. And now here you're going to go to one of your original equations up here and plug in the variable. So I'm going to choose that first one, that 4x plus 2y plus 3z equals 1. So I've got 4x plus 2 times y plus 3 times z equals 1. I have 4x plus 2 oops, minus 9 equals 1. Move all those over. So I have 4x equals seven, eight. so x equals two now just like we did before with substitution and elimination with the two variables you want to write it out as a coordinate all right so it's going to go x comma y comma z so x comma y comma z all right so my final answer is two one negative three so like i said kind of a lengthy process but we're going to repeat those four steps over and over again so let's do one more example together Here's the next example. All right, we've got um, our variables set up already, so we have to figure out, first step, uh, two variables to kind of cancel out here and kind of take it off from there. So I'm looking at these. I've got 6x, 6x, and x. I'm thinking that's not a bad one to try. I've got 3y, 5y, and 3y. I'd probably avoid that one because you get bigger numbers. And I've got negative 4z, 2z, and z, which wouldn't be bad either. So it doesn't matter. Let's just cancel out uh, the z's here. Why not? All right, so I'm going to pick here, and I'm thinking, let's do the first two equations. I'm going to label these real quick. All right, so I'm going to take equation one and equation two, and I'm going to cancel out the z's is what I decided. So I think that I need to multiply equation two by two in order for it to match up and be the same numbers. So equation one will remain the same, 6x plus 3y minus 4z equals 24. And multiply that whole second equation by 2. So I get 12x plus 10y plus 4z equals 28. All right, so 6x plus 12x gives me 18x. Uh, 3y plus 10y gives me 13y. The z's will cancel out. And 24 plus 28 gives me 52. All right, and that's going to be equation four. All right, for the second one, I'm thinking that we could probably utilize equation two and equation three and cancel out those z's again. So I'm gonna say equation two and equation three. Looking at that, we've got two z and z. I think we need to take that equation three and multiply that by a negative two in order for them to cancel. So I've got six x plus five y plus two z equals 14. Multiply that bottom one by negative two, so I get negative two x minus six y minus two z equals negative 18. Six x minus two x would be, give me four x. 5y minus 6y is negative y. The z's cancel out. And 14 minus 18 is negative 4. And that would be equation 5. All right, so we have done that. Now step 4 is to solve those new equations there. So I'm going to pull equation 4 and equation 5 down. So equation 4 is 18x plus 13y equals 52. 
Equation 5 is 4x minus y equals negative 4. And we can pick a variable to eliminate here. Um, X is kind of hard. I'm thinking Y is probably going to be our go-to here. Um, so if I do that one, up here, I think equation 4 should remain the same. And I think equation 5 is the one that we should multiply. I think we should multiply that one by 13 to cancel out the Y. So equation 4 stays the same. 4 times 13 would give you 52x. Minus 13y equals minus 52. All right, let me combine these together. All right, 52 plus 18x is 70x. The y's cancel out. 52 minus 52 would give me 0. I would divide both sides by 70, so I get that x equals 0. Once I have x, I'm going to assign all the other variables. The next variable I need to find is that y value. Um, so I'm going to plug that in here. So I have 4x, which is 0, minus y equals negative 4. 4 times 0 is 0, so I have negative y equals negative 4, which means y equals 4. And finally, you're going to plug these both into one of your original equations. I always just end up picking the first one. So I've got 6x plus 3y minus 4z equals 24. I get 0, and then I have 12 here, minus 4z equals 24. Subtract that 12 over, I get negative 4z equals 12. Divide by negative 4, and I get z equals negative 3. My final step is to write them out as an ordered pair. 